Hello, my name is Melissa Graham, and I'm a research scientist at the University of Washington in Seattle. In this ZTF science blog, I'm going to tell you a bit about the paper titled Supernova Siblings and Their Parent Galaxies in the Zwicky Transient Facility Bright Transient Survey, which was recently published in MNRAS. The term supernova sibling refers to supernovae that occur in the same host or parent galaxy. In the BTS, as of September 2020, we identified 10 ZTF discovered supernova siblings in five parent galaxies. These supernova siblings are more than just an observational novelty. They are useful for comparative studies of supernova characteristics such as type, brightness, and color, and the properties of their progenitor stellar populations such as age and metallicity. Supernova siblings also provide multiple independent distance estimates to their host galaxy, which is useful for cosmological studies. The paper takes a close look at each of our supernova siblings and the properties of their host galaxies. For example, type 2b supernova 2019 EHK and type 1c supernova 2020 OI, which have five known older siblings, occurred near the center of the very photogenic grand design spiral Messier 100. At right, we show a map from Allard et al. 2006, which is based on spectral emission lines, but essentially maps out the regions of star formation in dark blue. Of the two siblings, it is the type 1c 2020 OI that is associated with star formation, and thus with a more massive progenitor star, as expected for its type. In the paper, we make similar comparisons between our other four pairs of supernova siblings and their parent galaxies, including distance estimates from a type 1a and a type 2p super, um, supernova sibling pair. We wrap this paper up with an analysis of the relative rates of supernova siblings of different types. We make a comparison to earlier work by Anderson and Soto, who analyzed supernova siblings from a galaxy targeted survey and find that about 20% of their supernovae had a sibling and that siblings were likely to be the same type of supernova. In contrast, the unbiased CTF has a sibling rate closer to 1% and exhibits more of a mix of types. Although our sibling sample was still a little too small in 2020 to draw de more definitive conclusions, by year five of the ZTF, we can expect to have 50 to 100 siblings to analyze. So stay tuned for that, and thanks for listening.